Greetings fellow mechanists, I'm Elvenlord12, and welcome to my brand new workshop. Today I'll be showing you my latest invention. This is my Mark II fully three-dimensional create airship. Completely self-powered, buildable in survival mode. Uh, this thing was a massive pain in the neck to build. Mostly because of things not sticking together properly. It is powered by a dual piston system for each direction. Uh, this piston here is a sticky piston. It'll pull in this section of secondary chassis which goes all the way around this central core here and attaches down to the bottom here. And then this piston will push the central core in the same direction. And we have that for every side, every direction. So let's take it out for a spin, shall we? Let me just it's a bit too big to fit through the door, so we'll just open things up here. Now, why why am I showing you the Mark II instead of the Mark I? Because the Mark I was highly unstable. Is our roof open? Roof's open. Okay. To go anywhere? Well, first you'll see that there is two sets of buttons in every direction. The stone buttons are for one movement tick, and then the wooden buttons are for repeated movement. So, one thing I do recommend with this is that you prime it, I like to call it, with just one movement tick first, and then go ahead and set it to auto. So this will bring us up. I could set the pistons to go to even twice as fast as they are now, but it literally just has you bouncing around the cab. It, it, you bounce off the ceiling in the cab if you're going up like that. There we go. Like, even as it is now, I'm bouncing up and down a little bit. So that's high enough. Yes, thank, thank you. Button. Okay. And we've stopped. So you see, we got the vertical. We can go down, too. Just as easy. We've got forward. And forward. We've got left and right, or east and west, I should say. Oop. Sometimes it doesn't respond if you hit it too quickly. There we go. So yeah, all four cardinal directions plus up and down. This is the first airship that I have seen that can do all of this. Now, it's not compact. It's not pretty. But, like I said, it goes all six cardinal directions. Well, yeah, it goes all six directions. It's buildable in survival. It's powered by these furnace generators running off of blast furnaces. You can fill these up with whatever burnable fuel you want. And it uses a encased fan to pull the item out of the top slot of the furnace with a chute. And then once the, the burnable item in there is done burning, the whole thing depowers, which drops this item back down in, which starts the furnace burning again, pulling it back out before it can get smelted. 
and we've got one up here too because uh, it's kind of hard to get power from one of these <laughs> from a structure that's moving so uh, the central uh, the central structure here needs to have its own power source which made building this a little bit of a challenge not terribly difficult honestly the bulk that I'd really like to get rid of is this redstone circuitry here this is again a pain in the neck but it is necessary for that automatic movement uh, hmm. hang on okay there's a little bit of a glitch with some of these so if the airship moves while it's transmitting then uh, sometimes it will lose its frequency. That's a known bug. The developers are working on fixing it. So this is stable enough. Like I've sp I specifically used pulse repeaters here so that it wouldn't just be on the whole time it's working. So that should be relatively stable. Uh, it's a pretty basic circuit. I'm sure someone can make it a bit more compact. But yeah, this is this is the Mark II. The Mark I uh, relied almost entirely on these transmitters being powered by levers, which meant they were on well moving and that just caused so many problems and also used locking repeaters which you had to time just right and since you couldn't see them it was hard to time them so I threw that design out the window uh, the central pillar here also had some design flaws that were just annoying so I changed things around a little bit made it made the pistons push out two blocks instead of one um, I might go back to the one block design just to see if I can use that to get the machine to go faster but I feel like the two the two block long piston design is going to be a little bit faster now this structure down this layer right here is actually completely unnecessary I'm just using it to hold up this temporary cab and so if you uh, download the schematic, which I will be attempting to provide in the description, don't quote me on that, but I will try. Uh, if you download it, you can, if you want to relocate this cab, you can simply take off this layer and then uh, move the airship around to wherever you want it relative to the cab. Uh, you can see up there, I've been playing around with it, with trying to enclose the engine. It's mahusive. But, yeah. This is it. If you enjoyed, uh, if you enjoy this content, then uh, keep an eye on the channel for more. I'd be happy to have you subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Take it easy.